Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica. Thank you so much for clicking the link to watch my video. Without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Okay, so <laughs> for today's video, I'm going to be talking once again about um, my military um, career side. So if you don't know, I am in the Air Force and I am an officer and I film beauty videos, military videos, lifestyle videos, vlogs, you name it, I film it and I put it on this channel. Um, so I wanted to come and film a video that is long overdue, which is what to pack for OTS or COT because I get this question a lot. I actually in person um, there's a lot of people who meet me at my base or they happen to be at my base and they're trying to um, come over as a um, MSC which is um, a medical service corps officer which is what I am and I always get this question so much and then you guys have been private messaging me or commenting um, I get messages pretty much every single um, week over military uh, information and a lot of you keep requesting it and it's also one of my most viewed videos on my channel. That's why I feel like it's important to come on here and share my information because I personally did not have this experience when I joined. When I joined it was very rough and I did not have a, the best experience but I made it through. So I told myself as soon as I make it through this process I'm going to start filming videos and what do you know there's actually a lot of people who want to know. So, without further ado, I'm going to get into what you should pack. So, I'm really just going to talk about packing in this video. So, um, if you're going to COT soon or if you've been recently and there's something I'm forgetting and something they've changed because I've been in for now a year and a half. So, I'm on my way to my two-year mark. So, if there's things that have changed, just let me know. So, one of the first things that I put on my list is clothing detergent. And I made this list based up based off of things that I was like, "Man, I wish I would have known that." Obviously, you don't it's really not wise to pack clothing detergent like Tide or, you know, whatever you use to wash your clothes cuz it may break if you're flying. But if you have a chance to bring some like pods or some um powder clothing detergent to wash your clothes, bring a lot because I did so much laundry and when you first go to COT they let you go to the store for the first two days after that you can't go to the store or you have to send like your voted student president or whatever the flight commander was um, to go to the store for you so it was really annoying because I felt like man I just want to go to the store and buy some clothing detergent and then when we did get to go to the store it was like the shop at so the prices were a lot higher so, I say all that to say, bring some clothing detergent if it doesn't break um, in your suitcase. Um, bring one to two nice outfits. We did have a USAA dinner that we were invited to. Not everyone went, but I definitely went because it was a hot meal and my dad got to come. So, this is the last week of COT. This is when you're about to graduate and your family sees you and you're like, oh my gosh, you look crazy because I looked. My dad was like, whoa, because I was so dark from being outside <laughs> and it was just real rough for me so even my dad was like whoa <laughs> I've never seen you look like this um but yeah so bring one or two nice outfits because you're gonna have a banquet if you so choose which I do highly recommend you go to the USAA banquet number one it's a hot meal number two um you have people who actually are from USAA and if you've never had an account with them it is for military and um, military dependent families only so if you've never had an account with them that's your time to ask questions and also there will be a flight dinner where everyone can dress up as a flight and it's kind of like you go with your flight commander who's like your teacher and um, he allows you or he or she allows you to dress really nice if you have those um, restrictions again this is all if you're in I believe phase four I can't remember the phases but if you look in your Otsman which is your OTS manual um, you'll see the phases and if you're in that last phase the last week of graduation you can wear normal clothes and start to look like a girl again for me I was like oh my gosh I finally get to put on makeup and have time to actually do my makeup and look really nice so <laughs> if you're into that um, if you're wanting to do that please bring 
two, one to two nice outfits. Um, I would recommend bringing like options. So I brought about three nice outfits. So I brought like a pants slacks outfit and then I had like dresses and I had flats. I didn't bring heels because no, I'm not doing that with them. Um, but I brought just my normal like business casual wear. And then you also want to bring like jeans, t-shirts, just your normal civilian clothes. Your clothes are going to get taken away after two days eat either way being with you they're going to lock them up so you can't access them um but you want to make sure you have some normal clothes because the last week they'll tell you to wear normal clothes and some people didn't have anything so they had to like run over to the bx which maxwell's bx is really nice because it's such a big base they have actual nice stuff there so if you don't have anything you can always run to the bx you probably won't have time to ever run to the mall or anything just depending on what phase you're in um, but you can always run to the bx and pick up extra clothes that you need but when you get privileges to do that, it'll be like your last week. So it's almost pointless at that point. So that's why I say rather have you pack more and keep it locked away in your suitcase when they take your clothes rather than having not enough. I had I had the bare essentials and I wish I would have brought more clothes. So the next thing that I recommend for you guys to pack is military clothing. This is optional. I had zero, I mean zero military clothes when I went because my recruiter told me just buy everything there. They'll make you buy everything there. And for once she was actually right. So um, I did have everything bought there. The only thing was um, some of my stuff like uh, I can't remember. I was small in one area and they had to order something so I had to wait for that to come in while I was at COT. Um, name tapes, I recommend you get your name tapes which it says your name on the left side of your chest. I recommend you get those ahead of time just because it takes so long for your name tapes to come in and you have to wear this really silly name tag and if not everyone in your flight has their name tapes you have to stay wearing the name tag so it was really annoying for people who if, you, if they didn't order their name tapes right away, we had to basically wait for them to get their name tapes before we all as a flight could wear our name, our actual name tapes instead of the little tags. And those tags kept falling off because when you're marching, I mean, you're wearing that uniform every single day. Even though it's different uniforms, you have to pin it on and mine would rip. It was just so annoying to wear. So make sure you get your name tapes ahead of time. That is the only military clothing that I do recommend you get ahead of time. The rest of the stuff, Maxwell is, like I said, a huge base. That's where all of the OTS um, classes are. That's where Squadron officer, officer School is, where you go as a captain. Like, they have a ton of sizes and a ton of different variations. So I would say you have no issues getting clothes at all. But the only thing that took forever was name tapes because they kept putting all of our stuff as batch orders together. And also get your blues name tapes. Get those prior to your arrival at Maxwell. But if you want to wait, I waited. I didn't have anything, like I said, and I got everything successfully. So have no fear. Um, but all that stuff I got at Maxwell, no issues there. You'll do a bag drag your first two days where you, they'll literally make you, they'll give you a list and they'll say put all of this in your bag. Like all of your accout accoutrements, 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 whatever that word is. So like your little medals, your little flags, all that stuff, your ribbons, they will force you to get and you'll get all of the right ones. So just wait. So the next thing I recommend for you to bring is all of your bathroom utilities. Bring enough. So I brought travel size things. I don't know what I was thinking because I'm just so used to traveling for like a week. I was there for four weeks and I ran out of stuff so quickly because I was showering twice a day. I was washing my face twice a day. I just ran through my travel size stuff like that. Only thing I didn't run through that was super fast was toothpaste because it's so thick. Obviously you don't need a whole bunch. Um, but my mouthwash, everything, I ran through. And it, I ran through at the period where we weren't allowed to go to the store or we could only go at certain times or send our actual student flight leader to go. It was really annoying to just send that person or give that person my money for normal stuff. So it, mm, I don't recommend that. What I do recommend you do is bring full size everything. You're going to be there for four weeks. You don't know how often you're going to be showering and bathing. Just because sometimes when we did the ropes course, um, my feet would get wet or I would fall and I got drenched. Or someone would squirt their nastiness on me or whatever. And that's me being truthful. 
And then to be honest, I was in the Alabama heat and people stink around me and I felt like I stink. I know I didn't stink because I have, that's one of my like personal pet peeves is like when things stink. So I make sure that I'm always clean. But people, you know when everyone's sweating and you're just like, I need a shower. That is how it was. And I went in August, so it was hot. So I recommend you guys pack full-size bathroom utilities. You can have perfumes. You can have shower gels. There's no strict policies on anything that you use for hygiene. Hair products. Um, I recommend if you are black to have your hair braided. I My mom braided my hair. It was super nice. I took it out for the last week because I just got tired of it and I wanted a different hairstyle. Um, I kind of regretted that too because I realized I didn't have all my hair products with me. So what did I do? I went to Target and I spent $80 on hair products because I had to buy every single wash, like shampoo, conditioner, hair product, gel. It was a waste of money because I ended up using very little of it for like, and I was going to go home in four days. So don't do what I did. Just bring, just bring the hair products that you normally use. Don't forget bobby pins and um, hair ties that match the color of your hair so you can't have contrasting colors so if I had blonde hair I'd have to have a blonde hair tie um, but obviously for my skin tone it's not a natural hair color so I could never have blonde hair that's perfectly fine with me um clothing outside of your so you have your civilian clothes so like civilian clothes is like what I'm wearing now and my jeans and tennis shoes whatever but you also have your undergarments so bring enough undergarments I would say for maybe a week and a half, two weeks worth, you don't want to bring, it's a fine line, because you don't want to bring in too many clothes where you're doing so much laundry, or when you have dorm room inspections where they're like, oh, this isn't folded right, because everything has to be folded a certain way. You want to bring enough clothes to not have you running to the washer every other day, but also not enough to get you in trouble and get a demerit if you have a dorm room inspection and someone comes in and they say, hey, your underwear is not folded properly, demerit you know what I mean um okay so socks white socks uh I know there used to be this really strict policy on PT gear where you had to have your PT outfit and then white socks in certain color of tennis shoes that rule doesn't apply anymore you can wear whatever color socks you want as long as they're not like bright pink and stuff like that so sometimes I wear white socks sometimes I wear black socks no one ever said anything to me and then tennis shoe color that used to be a strict rule that is no longer applicable I had neon pink and blue asics and I love those shoes they worked really well bring some shoes you can run in because you will be running every single day every single day we ran oh my gosh and it was painful but I did it so laundry bags you're gonna need a laundry bag to carry your clothes to the laundry room and you're from the laundry room to your dorm room to fold everything up so don't forget a laundry bag make sure you mark all of your clothes so I brought a laundry marker and what I did was I marked my hat I wrote my last name and my t-shirts I wrote my name because sometimes people will go and take your stuff out of laundry or they'll put their clothes in there which makes no sense to me and honestly it would just start arguments between people um just don't touch anyone's stuff that's my recommendation you don't like your stuff being touched don't touch anyone's stuff um but yeah make sure you mark your stuff with your last name so that way like when you throw your cap off at graduation like we all threw our caps off um put your name in there so you can find it when it's done snacks Bring a lot of snacks that you can't get. Um, if you have like a favorite certain like special diet, like this one girl was vegan or vegetarian. It was very tough for her because we had to eat meal MREs, which are meals ready to eat. <laughs> They're so nasty. <laughs> they were so nasty. Oh my gosh. I could not have, if I had to eat another MRE for another day, I was going to go bananas laptop this is very very important you need to bring your laptop you're going to be sitting in class i actually brought my macbook but you're going to be sitting in class and you have to um, log on to their blackboard system and their powerpoint system and that's how you get your notes is from their powerpoints that they load onto this blackboard site so you need a laptop don't go to cot without a laptop if that's one thing that i could tell you to do do not go to cot without a laptop there is an opportunity if you do not have one and you can afford one just yet for you to get one, they will let you loan one out, 
but that one had um i remember this guy he forgot to bring his and so he used one of theirs and the connectivity he always had issues so bring a laptop there's also um it says on the list i think for you to bring a printer I didn't bring a printer because I'm like, who prints things nowadays? There are things that we did have to print, like papers or whatever, but I just printed them at the center that we, like you have classrooms, so I just printed it over there if I needed to. And then also one of our cop mates had a printer, so she would print sometimes for us. So I would say I still wouldn't bring a printer if I had to go back all over again and do it. So Okay, so don't forget to pack, um, like I was saying, pens and pencils, uh, a notebook to take notes on, that's important. Um, if you forget any of this stuff, it is at the shopette that you are allowed to go to. Um, flashcards, if that's how you study, you can use Quizlet. Quizlet was like my number one thing. Um, alarm clock, I know they had an alarm clock on the list. I didn't use an alarm clock, I used my phone. You're not allowed to carry your phone with you until like the last week, but you have to lock it up. So just use your phone because at night the MTIs are not in your room. So just use your phone, you're allowed to use it at night. Um, so speaking of combo lock, every single room you will have a safe box lock, which is like a little box, wooden box that's built into your dorm room furniture that you will need a combination lock. So like a little combo lock that you twist the knob um, for those of for those of you who may not know what that is, I know they're kind of going a little extinct, but hey, um, some things don't change, but you'll need that to keep all of your personal belongings. So you'll get things like with your social on it that you'll have to bring to, to COD, ID, wallet, all that stuff. You can't carry that stuff around with you. So I kept a, everything basically locked up. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm forgetting. I'm probably forgetting something because that's like in my nature, but pretty much pretend like you're going to an apartment to live for four weeks and there's nothing there. What would you need to bring? If you don't need anything, then good luck. If you need everything under the sun, good luck. But like I said, I can't stress it enough. Don't bring too many clothes, at least clothes that you're going to actually keep in your room because the clothes, keep a lot of your clothes locked away in that suitcase. Um, that they take from you because your clothes that you leave in the room you're going to be forced to fold it how they want it folded and they will go through it all and it just it makes for a longer harder process um you will need blues um while you're there so if you're buying your military clothing prior to your arrival make sure you get a blues um semi dress semi formal um outfit because you will need it um, so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. Hopefully this video will help you guys learn how to pack for COT or OTS or wherever you're going. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Any other videos that you're wanting on military information, just don't forget to comment or privately message me because I will pour out more content for you guys if you want those types of videos. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!